Hey up everybody. Now before I go cruising today, I've got my dad coming and he's coming to fit me a new battery. Lots of people have said to me, Heidi, how are you coping living off grid in the winter with hardly any solar? How are you charging your batteries? Because obviously the boat has a bank of batteries and they run the fridge, the lights, the telly, all that sort of stuff. Well, I'm having to either use my generator for two or three hours a day or my engine. Now, you know how noisy my old engine is. So it's a right pain. And the problem is, is the batteries now, they're four years old and they're getting to their end of life. So they need replacing. So I was gonna buy myself a whole big bank of batteries and I looked into the cost and again, I'll have to replace them in another three to four years. And then I ended up finding out about the hybrid setup where you get a lithium battery and you add that to your existing bank of batteries. So I thought, ooh, that looks good. So I did a lot of research, went on the 12 volt boating group on Facebook, did lots of research, asked loads of questions, and I ended up ordering a 200 amp lithium battery from lifebatteries.co.uk. So I'm going for this setup. I've got my dad coming, I'm quite excited, and uh, we're gonna do that. So I hope you enjoy. We're gonna go cruising as well, as soon as that's fitted but I just want you to see what we get up to. I'm gonna try not to get too technical and bore the tits off you, but let's uh, let's give it a go. Yeah, that's right, but it's the other piece, not that little one. So what we're doing now is we're having to alter the battery box to fit this new battery in there. So that's a bit of a faff and taking ages. So it's not all about wiring it up. You've got to do all this other stuff. So that's the lithium now all secure and in place. You'll notice how big it is. It's huge compared to my other batteries, but this was the 200 amp ones. And I've also insulated it all around the edges because lithium can't get cold, too cold anyway, but it won't get that cold in this engine room. But that's it now, it's all fitted and I just put the lids back on, but because we're still faffing around, we're not gonna put the top back on there just yet. So guys, it's day two on my hybrid lithium setup and it was so impressed yesterday how easy it was to actually fit the lithium battery. It was just a negative wire from the lithium to my shunt so I could still use my reader for my other batteries. And then it was a positive straight to the positive on the leisure. So it's quite easy and it took just longer to make a secure battery box for it to fit in. However, I did run into a problem and that was when I started up my engine, my alternator got hot, I could smell it. So I had to turn that off straight away. Um, so there's two ways to fix this problem with a hybrid setup. And the first one is to get a DC to DC charger, but they're quite expensive. And the other way, which is a lot cheaper, is to get a bigger length of cable and run that from my sprit relay to my leisures or my starter. So that's what I'm going to try first. Before I go out laying on any big money, let's see if that will reduce the uh, heat and the current coming out of my alternator. So my lovely dad came back again. By having a longer length of cable, you're actually reducing the amount the lithium can get into it because it gobbles it up really, really fast. And uh, yeah, so that's why I'm going to try this idea. So this is the length of the old cable. We just took this off and then my dad put some new ends on and this is the length of the new cable. So it's quite a lot longer. We're going to try that. We might cut it down if uh, it's too low, but we're going to give this a go now. So once the cable was changed to six mil and lengthened, it made a massive difference to the temperature the alternator got to, but also to the amount of amps it was putting out as well. But it looked to be working perfectly. Now for my first cruise, I didn't want to be on my own. So I waited for a day when Jackie could be on board just in case anything happened. So that's it, the oil check's done, looking good. Because she's an old girl, I do have to check her regularly because she does seep a little bit, she does leak a bit out and that's what happens when you get old. And she's got some tenor ladies, she has some engine pads underneath to collect any excess dribbles. But all good, oil check's done, ready to go. So before I start the engine, I just put some revs on by turning my piece of string, get it quite, nice and taut and then start her up. And we're off. Whee! 
So as I was saying earlier, I've had a lithium battery fitted, so I've got jacks on board today because I didn't want my first big cruise um, for my alternator to set on fire or anything. So she's in there and every 20 minutes she's going to just point the gun at the alternator and just check that it's not going above 120 degrees really. At the moment it's only on about 54, so I think we'll be alright. Because I do a lot of the cruising on my own, I just want to make sure that everything's alright before I go on something on my own. So. It's cold today, it's about 2 degrees, but uh, it's alright because I've got this. <laughs> and it keeps me warm, I've got my fire going in there as well, so that's warm. It's not smoking today because I've put the coal on quite a while ago. But yeah, so uh, cheers everyone. Ooh. Lovely. got a bit of a loose boat going on so I think it looks like it's been pulled in though so yeah so a bit of excitement on the cut today <laughs> hey yo is it you causing trouble See, a boat had come undone halfway across the canal. It was being pulled in. Luckily, my friends were there, Nicola. There was um, a boat coming the other way as well, my friend Richard. So we all knew each other, had a bit of a chat. They sorted the boat out and all was good, but that's me a bit of excitement for today. I bet you lot were on the edge of your seat, weren't you? Going, ooh, big drama. Mm. Yeah, that's as exciting as it gets, guys. <laughs> anyway. Because we've got that done and it was sorted, it's time to have a little celebration drink, isn't it? Yeah? See, you always have a drink when you celebrate something. Yeah. I've not got rum in it this time. I've got um, Jack Daniel's fiery one, the Tennessee one. My nieces and nephews got it for me for Christmas. And it's one of my favourites. is around 50 and 60 temperature wise so that's fine Got nothing to worry about I just wanted somebody with me for the first cruise because I can't because my engine's not here it's away it's nine foot away from me in the engine room so I can't just keep nipping and seeing it when I'm on my own <laughs> so yeah so it's looking all right I think the battery's nearly charged I can check all the settings on my app um, so let's have a look now see what we're on so on 86% so far. So guys, I've invented a new game and uh, what it is, is basically, it's because there's hardly any boats moving about during the winter like this, because they're all sensible and they're all hunkered down and nice and warm and it's absolutely freezing today. Um, what I'm going to do is every time I pass a moving boat is I'm going to say cheers to them. So let's just have a practice. Cheers. So uh, yeah, so we just need to wait for another moving boat. Oh yeah, I passed Richard earlier, so let's... Uh... Cheers to Richard. Um, Nicola, I passed Nicola as well, and uh, even though she wasn't moving her boat, she was helping move a boat that was across the cut. So, Cheers to Nicola. So there, see, so that's my new game. So yeah, you can play along. Feel free that every time I pass a moving boat, you can have a shot as well. So yeah. So 
that guys is one of my favourite pubs the Broken Cross however I'm not going to stop here because there's quite a lot of boats and it's just really muddy nothing to do with the pub it's just a towpath really muddy so I'm going to carry on going yes I'm going past the pub everybody I'm getting bigger now that we've just passed there and it's a lovely little marina and they've got a little tea room and I've always wanted to go in there and have a brew and some breakfast or some scones or something but I can never get moored and there's no bridge really I think the bridge is quite far back but it'd be perfect if they had a little bridge over or they had some pontoons for visitors it's always quite full when I go past so I don't stop but I will stop one time if I go past and there is a space I'll stop and go and use the cafe So I've made it to Northwich Flashes and the alternator's been fantastic, not getting hot at all. But the big test now is to see how long it is before I need to charge it again. State of my trousers. These were clean on today, clean on. The mud, that's the downside of this boat life over winter, it's just this mud everywhere. But Jackie's been in a red hot boat, so she's in a t-shirt and I'm in me, I've got a thermal layer on here. I've got this one, but she wears a t-shirt all the time, it's not right. Do you know anybody that's like this, it's absolutely freezing, two degrees and they wear a t-shirt, because I don't. So I've just moored up and there's a boat going past. That means I get an extra drink when I get in later. I ate mud. Pudding aches mud. Don't you, mate? So that's it now, all moored up. Stay here for a couple of days, I think, and then plod on to Middlewich. So yeah, so it's time to go inside now and have a little drink booze. So now we've got this lithium installed, let's see how long we can stay moored before we need to put the engine on again. So that's the view we've got now guys. Pudding's eating his dinner, don't know if you can hear him, noisy bugger. But uh, yeah, cheers. And uh, I've kept my hat on because I've got hat air. Cheers. just a quick update on my hybrid battery setup oh my goodness it's an absolute game changer normally in the morning after get up first thing I do is put the engine on or the generator on for an hour or so just to charge everything up and then if I go out in the day I have to rush back for six to get that generator or that engine on for two hours just to give me enough power to keep the fridge going all night long but oh my wow I've not run my engine for two days I'm currently on 68% on my app. Um, I'm getting four amps of solar at the moment. So I might not even have to put the engine on today. It's like three days. That's, uh, that's mental. It's just absolutely fantastic. Obviously, I am in my first week of using this hybrid setup and my boat is quite simple. It was quite easy to do because I didn't have any dual alternators or anything, but wow. I'm very impressed so far so please if you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I'll keep you informed as I go along with this lithium throughout the time to see how it is but at the moment I am well impressed so a big shout out to this week's pirate crew so I'm going to do this week's pirate crew 
Keith and Anne Manfield, Desmo Dave, Glenn from MB Bobbin, Kirsty and Chris, Mark and Tracy, Ralph Ward, Andrea and Will, David Van Wert, Marcy and Nelson, Bert and Ernie from Australia. I want to say some too. Also, Drew B, Stephen Brody, Gary Dixon, Dippy Dyer, Alan Harbett, Chris D from Chattanooga, Norman Laura van der Handel, Ed and Sally, Colin and Mimi and Mrs S.A. Everett. Thank you so much guys. We love you all.